Troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Henlein, the General of Guzu. Yes. So, today, guys, uh, we're going to be looking at some Finnish craft beer. This is the last beer I've left from Lowry from Finland. Sorry, dude, I know it's been a while <laughs> with these Finnish beers getting them reviewed, or at least this last one, because I've just had so much beer to drink and review. <laughs> and I usually, like, you know, go with the IPAs and hoppy stuff first. So a beer like this, which is a golf beer, gets put, you know, on the back. You wait a little with that one. But this sounds awesome. Uh, I really can't wait to try this one. This is the... Um, Finnish is so difficult. Vakasuomen Panimo Brykmesta Savu Kataya. I'm sure, golf beer. <laughs> I'm sure you did perfect. I think? Probably. Nice. It's a 9% so it's Imperial Rauch beer, but what makes this different is that it's smoked with juniper smoke malt. So, kind of, uh, I was told, it, it's not a Sachti, which is the traditional Finnish strength, okay. but it is kind of like a beer version of it almost, so kind of like a Rauch beer, but made with similar ingredients as Sachti, so the juniper part, because mm -hmm. Sachti usually has, usually has juniper. So 9%, and I believe it's a lager, so like authentic German style, and it at the Helsinki Beer Festival in 2009, it won a medal as well, so that's pretty cool. So looking forward to this one. This is, as I said, the last year I've had from them. This brewery mainly makes lagers, I believe, except it's the kinda, It's kind of Christmassy as well, to be honest. The label, but I don't think the flavor is going to be a smoke flavor. Well, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. So without further ado, let's get it cracked and poured. So we got it poured, and it looks really nice in the glass. It kind of looks like a double block or something. Like it's like yeah. a dark, what do you call that? Well, it, it's got a slight red taint to like it. really dark maroon and ruby red. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, smoke. <laughs> it smells like uh, spikers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. cured sausage. Salami. But also and some, some like... Oh, burnt, bacon! Yeah, bacon, but also some burnt caramel, maybe. Yeah, burnt caramel, caramel toffee, burnt a little bit of dark food. Yeah. Almost like double block, like dark fruit caramel. Yeah. Almost. yeah. Oh, this smells really nice. Yeah. Uh, man, this is so bacony though. It's been a while since mm. I've had a smoked beer that mm. was this bacony. I, the last smoked beer I had was de, from De Molen, and that was a hot beer that was part mm. beechwood smoked malt yeah. and part peated malt. Yeah. And that was like a 90, was it 94, 93 or something I gave it? I loved it. Mm. Well, this is one of the uh, most complex smoked beers. 9%? 9%, 9%. it doesn't yeah. smell like that. No. But so much smoke, and then you get that juniper, almost uh, piney-esque yeah. aroma to it. I want to try most of them. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cheers, and thanks a bunch to Lowry. Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. Mm. Like you get oh. the meaty. <laughs> the meaty <laughs> that is really good. Mm. It tastes like a double buck that's mm. been smoked. Because you're getting that caramel, toffee, mm. yeah. exactly. sweet, syrupy, molasses y mm. flavor. Yeah. Hint! Like a spike of dark fruit. It's very mm. little. It's mostly caramel toffee. Yeah. And now aftertaste, it's just bacon and ham, smoked ham and exactly. smoked sausage, spiders and salami. It's excellent. And that kind of spicy juniper, yeah. uh, almost like gin spice, uh, piney thing. I actually like or it. spruce, spruce. I'm actually very fond of the taste of it uh, compared to uh, the, maybe the smell of it actually, or the aroma of it. Actually, I, I, I quite dig the when you 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 you, uh, you smell and then you you, you taste and it, it's perfect. It's good. Yeah, it's like, it's very smoky on the aroma, it's sweet up front on the flavor, but yeah. there's a lot of smokiness. Uh, it's that kind of meaty smokiness, like smoked meat, smoked salmon almost, or smoked mackerel. It's like, I love this style, mm. but it's so rare you see it. And this is like Imperial Rauchbier, I guess, with yeah. just a twist of a juniper flavor, and this is definitely the best beer in the beer mill you sent Lowry. This is fucking awesome. That's good. I really like it. Uh, for me, 93. This is an awesome smoked beer. It's not as good as the one I had from Demolin, which was kind of like a little more balanced. Well, this is also pretty balanced. That was less sweet, yeah. but it's it's still really nice. It's awesome having off beer because it's so yeah. rare I get to try it. So. Yeah, I wasn't that, I wasn't too fun of the aroma of it, but actually now I've had it and tasted it and, and everything and the aroma and taste is very nice. So I I'm thinking 88, 89. Yeah, that's, so a, that, that's, that's a beer that usually splits yeah. the water. But I, I still like it. But it's I also like it. It's also I mean, style you I mean, need to drink it. I mean, well. if, yeah, uh, true. And I mean, uh, yeah, I wouldn't give it 88 or 89 if I didn't like it. Yeah. So so, so so it is it is it is good. 
Yes. We should have him try some more off beers. We yeah. should get him on this little cattle wagon. So guys, if you get the chance, definitely check out the Makasuom and Panimo Brickmaster Sabu Kataya. If you get the something chance. Like, something like that. Something like that. You correct me guys from Finland that's watch, watching. Thanks so much for the beers, Lowry. It was fun to try some Finnish craft beer and see what's going up going up in Finland. So guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we're gonna say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in the beer. <laughs>